We turn our attention to Kenya, where Britain's King Charles has arrived in the country for a four-day state visit. This is the king's first visit to a Commonwealth country since his coronation. King Charles, accompanied by Queen Camilla, plans to acknowledge painful aspects of a shared history that included almost seven decades of colonial rule. A statement from Buckingham Palace says the visit agenda will reflect on the cooperation between Britain and Kenya, economic development, climate change and security issues. Britain colonized Kenya between 1920 and 1963. A revolt by Mau Mau freedom fighters in central Kenya led to the end of the colonial era. According to Kenya Human Rights Commission, 90,000 Kenyans were killed or maimed and 160,000 others detained during the uprising. The UK government has previously expressed regret for abuses during this period. King Charles and Queen Camilla will tour a new National History Museum and visit the site where Kenya's independence was declared in 1963. 36 years after his last official visit to the country, Charles III returns to Kenya in his first official visit as king, accompanied by his wife, Queen Camilla. The visit, his first to Africa in a Commonwealth country since his coronation, is likely to stir emotion over Britain's colonial past in Kenya. During a briefing ahead of the visit, Chris Fitzgerald, the Deputy Private Secretary to the King, said the visit will also acknowledge the more painful aspects of the two countries' shared history. This includes a state of emergency imposed by the British colonial administration in response to an armed uprising by the Mau Mau fighters against white settlers between 1952 and 1960. The palace says the king will take time to, quote, deepen his understanding of the wrongs suffered during this period by the people of Kenya. However, Kenyan experts say this does not go far enough, as King Charles is not expected to issue a formal apology for Britain's role in trying to crush the struggle for independence. It's quite unlikely. Um, I can't remember or I don't know that um, the British government has ever apologised for all kinds of atrocities committed during its, uh, its imperial age. You know, from from the from the uh, um, era of slave trading, uh, um, on on which much much of uh, the British Empire's wealth was built, um, to the era of colonialism. In 2013, following a case lodged in a London court, Britain agreed to pay about 20 million pounds to Kenyans tortured during the Mau Mau revolt acknowledging the actions of the colonial administration, but refusing to accept legal responsibility. The visit comes 60 years since Kenya attained its independence. Since then, the two countries have shared close links in trade, education, technology, and in the security sector. Robert Nagila, CGTN, Nairobi, Kenya.